There we go. Okay, we're just we're just speed running. Go, go, go! I don't know where it is. Just, there's nothing in the other one. Doesn't matter, just go through, just go through the fucking thing. Okay, now with this guy, you just... Okay, now we started doing that. Give me oil. Done? Okay. Go eat that. No, you're not gonna eat that? Turn. Turn. Okay, I'm dead. That's just a fact. Get up on the shelf. Thank you. Needle. What's this? Okay, and now now we run through here. I, I'm doing this all again for the second time. I want everyone to know I fucked up the recording the first time, so this is the second time. And the, the fish man is following me. So we gotta outrun the fish man. Open the door. Easy, easy. Black that up. That heard me black that out. That was disgusting. Cool. Uh, that's cool and all, but. Oh, that's refreshing. Oh. Love water. Straight from the baby's mouth.
wrap it. Wrap it on the bed. Probe bar. Yes. Okay, it's important I do that first. Journal part. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Oh, that's cool. Give me, give me, thank you. I want, I want to see something. This is just, just a test. Can I take these out? No? Okay. Thank you, Hiss and Cockroach was his name to Madagascar, not Prussia. Okay. Uh, I just, I just want to see something. I want to see how much uh, attention to detail people put into this game. If this will work or not. I already know it won't work, but I, I just want to see, you know? Oh, oh, get. Get, get on there. Thank you. This is this is just this is just the painting of Jesus again. Goes in the pile. Does you come off? No. Painting of the crucifixion of Christ doesn't come off. Okay. That's just satisfying to do. Uh, let's see. You come out, right? Cockroach, la cucaracha. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Pa 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 pa. Nice. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, 
What are those pieces in my drawing room? Mm hmm Great. Anyway. Get me on. Oh, shit. Hold on. I can do it. I can do it. I can get on the chandelier. Okay, okay, okay. Can I? I can crouch mid-jump. Okay, good. Oh, almost. Hold on. Can I? Can I also get up on this side? Or do I need the chair on the other side? Is okay. Yeah, I need the other side then. Okay. Okay, I took damage that time. We're gonna stop doing that. Let me guess. We used a crowbar. Oh, hold on. Okay, ready? And crowbar time. This is now last bit. This is now last bit. I caught you, game! I fucking caught you! Nothing goes through that door. It's all still there! Oh, wait. It, it kind of moved slightly. So, so, so it came through like this much. Damn. I guess they did think of everything. Get over here, you hissing bastard. Fine. Is that what you wanted? Why is this not destroyable? Where'd it go? I just tossed it into the ethereal realm, didn't I? Oh no, there it is. Does, does the chain have physics, or is it just... Hold on. Okay, the chain doesn't have physics. It's just the chandelier. Look at it go. Look at it go. Eloquent. Beautiful. Okay, we'll read the last part, and I'll, I'll stop fucking around. Fourth of July. 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Sorry, I've just seen this already today. So, uh, you know. Not interesting. Spooky monsters? No oh, spooky monsters. Okay, we're gonna try the other door now. 
I'm doing everything but the main quest right now. I, I didn't do this the other time because it took me 20 minutes to do the, the first section. Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Oh, fuck off with your light nonsense. It's not even dark in here. Actually one of the most annoying things about this game. Maybe that's why I like Machine for Pigs more, because cause it's it, it doesn't feel like I'm just managing it for the sake of having something to manage. Look, I'm in the light. Oh my god. There's a page in here. There's nowhere to hide, so um but we'll just juke them when when they come through inevitably. Hold on. Okay, we, we got our weapon for when they come through the door. I'm not reading this aloud. It's the rule here. I don't read. You can read. If you can't read, then... I don't know. Go find someone willing to narrate this shit. Oh, hold on, that's in the way of the screen now. There we go, I can see again. The power of Christ compels you. 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 The power... Of... That's a good movie. I like The Exorcist. I like The Exorcist 3 more, actually. Uh, there are no monsters. Monster! Okay. Yeah, I can't knock it off the table. Have a weapon. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> I do wonder, because because I've never tried it. If I just hold this out like this, can the enemies still run through it? Or is this like a legitimate defense? Let, let's try this. Now they can't get it open. What's this? What, what is that? Okay. There we go. The, this guy has the same fucking book everywhere. It's just this. What is this? So it's like Flanson, right? Okay. Okay, that's a that's a map of Borussia Meridionalis. He is two of the book in the same room. How many other? Oh my god, he 
is three copies of the same fucking book. Wait, is this a... Okay. Okay, this, this guy needs more reading material. He, he has... He has four copies of the same book in the same room. This is Alexander. He looks kind of like Geronimo Stilton. Is that offensive? It might be offensive. Okay, and now, hold on. Hold on, I want to fuck with this note. There we go. Okay, now we read the note. Oh, no, no monster. Hey, yeah. Yeah, this guy's the sm the smallest penis in the world. Can can I show? Can I can I show this? Zoom zoom right in on it. Can I not zoom in? Okay. Ed or me, you have, you have work to do. Zoom in on his cock. Just so you know, my hands are like moving across my desk right now in an effort to to undo my own barricade. Okay, it'll just be easier if I do that. Okay, now we take the chair with us. I'm not looking. It tried to spook me. Well, I'm not looking. I have a chair. Oh, hold on. Journal. Get in the light. Get in the light because the game punishes you for looking at things. Find another way around the rubble in the study. Is it it's just this again? No, oh, it's not just that again. Bones! Oh my god! I jumped anyway. I'm, I'm, I, I told you, I got startled easy. How many is this? Hold on, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, six human skulls. Honestly, that'd be more cool than anything. What? Okay. What happens if I put the head in here? Nothing happens. Okay. Okay. New su suggestion. If I put skull on this guy's head. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. And we put the bone here. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. And we take the other bone. I, I said hold it. Ugh, God damn it. We put it here. No, you don't get a head anymore. You don't want to play by my rules, I won't let you play by my rules. Your head come off too. No, his head's stuck on. <clears throat> Disappointing. 
Anyways, I'm taking this skull with me. Isn't that right, Horatio? That's how you test if there's any monsters. And if nothing comes, there's no monsters. <gasps> fetid meat, fetid meat, fetid meat. Hold on. Hold on. This guy ain't human. This guy's built like fucking Giga Chad. Look at look at those pecs. And d damn is he short. Like, hold on, hold on. I gotta I gotta show you. Look at where his ass cheeks start. And look at where his This is a dwarf. This is a dwarf from Lord of the Rings. There, there's no way some guy's built like that. This guy has ass cheeks almost at the same spot as his belly button. Like, like, look. Oh, oh my god. There, there needs to be a way to turn things. Belly button right there. Ass cheeks right there. Spine barely bigger than my hand. This is either a really thick child who worked out like six days a w month, month, six days a day, six, seven days a week, or, or, it's dwarf. And I'm leaning more towards dwarfs because we're in Prussia, which is a fictional country. I wish there was just a save option. Because, um, I'm really fucking tempted. Okay, we're going to try it. I'm barely conscious. Okay, there we go. We're, we're back to normal. <laughs> Wasted the healing. And then in here is oh. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end it there because uh, I want to a machine room like a machine for pigs. You cut. You better have kept cut. You better have cut. That was a terrible joke. You better have cut away. Did you cut away yet? Hello, editor me. But you cut away now.